First up, we have Ben Chapman Schmidt, who is from the ANU College of Arts and Social Sciences. And the title of Ben's presentation tonight is Japan's Response to Human Trafficking. When you think about human trafficking, you probably think about developing countries, maybe Thailand or Burma, but it's something that happens everywhere, and there isn't enough research on what developed countries are doing about it. I think that needs to change, and that's why I decided to research Japan's response to human trafficking. Now, Japan is a rich country, but with an aging population, there's a high demand for unskilled labor. It's a very safe country, but there is a large sex industry. And while there's relatively little migration, those who do come are mostly coming from nearby developing countries. And it's people coming from developing countries, either for unskilled labor or for sex work, who are most vulnerable to human trafficking. These are the people I wanted to research, but being a very white male foreigner, I wasn't going to be doing any undercover participant observation. <laughs> Instead, I spent over a year traveling across Japan, speaking with police officers and government officials, aid workers and foreign embassies, to see how they think about human trafficking and what they're doing about it. A lot of what I found was inspiring. The police had cracked down on syndicates exploiting Thai sex workers. The government had changed their visa policy to stop the deceptive recruitment of hostesses from the Philippines. And even critics admitted that these policies had made some migrants less vulnerable to human trafficking. And yet, these protections aren't reaching everyone. They're not reaching the Chinese factory workers or the Vietnamese farmhands, even though they are often forced to work for illegally low wages their passports taken, their freedoms restricted. Why are they falling through the cracks? Because farmhands don't grab our attention in the same way that sex workers do. And so they're not who we think of when we think of human trafficking. And this was one of the biggest findings of my research, that those words, human trafficking, have distorted the way that governments and people in general, the people in this room, think about the exploitation of migrants, leaving some people vulnerable to near slavery. So if I want to change that, then I need to get you to start thinking differently. Thank you.